it's time to head back to Fraggle Rock. Man, that song is so catchy. I'm excited to talk about the newest Apple TV Plus series, Fraggle Rock, Back to the Rock. Let's get started. Gobo, Red, Wembley, Moki, Boober, and new Fraggle friends embark on a series of exciting adventures. Welcome back movie watchers. Thank you guys for stopping by my channel. Today we're gonna to talk about the new Apple TV Plus series, Fraggle Rock, Back to the Rock. I wasn't born to the 90s, so I wasn't alive when Fraggle Rock first aired, but I did catch some reruns and VHS tapes. I do have fond memories watching Fraggle Rock created by Jim Henson. I love the Muppets, so I was really excited to check this series out. After watching some original episodes before watching this one and then watching the new one, it really feels like nothing has changed. Besides maybe a few minor things here and there, but overall the tone, what it covers, the characters, the songs, the look of it, it feels exactly the same. Even the opening song is the same, and it's still as catchy as can be. What I loved about watching this new version of Fraggle Rock, and I think I wasn't old enough to appreciate it a lot growing up. When I was younger, I just enjoyed the fun characters and the music behind it all. What I like about this new series and uh, going back and watching some older episodes, it's in there too, is that it covers a lot. There's a lot of social topics, a lot of conversations about environmental issues. They also cover like prejudice and social identity, a few different things within this new series. And they did cover it a lot in the older series as well. But there is, I, I believe, 13 episodes, and they're about 25 minutes long. So uh, it's a pretty lengthy series, but each episode covers you know, different things within each episode. New things to the series. In the original series, we had Doc, who was played by Gerard Parks, and he lived with Sprocket, his dog, and they had that, that, they had that hole in the wall that led to Fraggle Rock and all of the characters in there. In the new series, Lily Cooper plays Doc and she lives with Sprocket. She is trying to create YouTube videos and spread awareness about microplastics and uh, how it is affecting the ocean. So there's a lot of uh, educational moments when it comes to that. They're trying to teach about how plastic can be harmful in the ocean and landfills and all of that. And I think that it's integrated nicely into the series. We've got a lot of moments with Lily Cooper and Sprocket, and that's enjoyable. And we also have Uncle Traveling Matt who brings the mail and the fraggles, you know, and they get all that. Uh, all of the characters are in here. We have the pudgy little green dozers in here that are so focused on work. And another exit outside of Fraggle Rock, we have the Gorgs. Each individual group of characters, the Fraggles, the Doozers, and the Gorgs, they all have time to fill developed within each episode. Now each episode is not fully connected besides maybe some characters. Um, but each episode is able to stand alone, have their own message, have their beginning and end, and have uh, a fun, compelling story within each episode. And it does feel modern. It does feel rebooted. Uh, it, obviously, it's brighter. There's more color that pops for it. Uh, it just looks cleaner. Uh, when the original series came out in the mid 80s, uh, it looked good for when it did come out, but everything it just looks cleaner now. It's 2022, obviously it will be, but I liked the modern touch to it uh, without sacrificing what made that original series so good. And so they are implementing what made that show so charming and magical. They're bringing it forth in an updated version, but honestly staying so true to what made that show work but just giving it a cleaner look to it without uh, getting rid of the characters, without changing much to it, it still feels like that original show, but in modern time. The show also brings in new characters. New characters are voiced by Patti LaBelle, David Diggs, Ed Helms, Kenan Thompson, and even the Foo Fighters voiced a few characters within here. So it is fun to see all the different voice actors and actresses within here that uh, bring forth new characters. 
Everything I just loved about watching Fraggle Rock as a kid is in here. There's a lot of catchy songs. The songs are uh, targeted towards uh, the message of the series, like uh, what it takes to be brave and having friends and trusting one another. Those issues and topics they cover are incorporated into the song, so you have a lot of those fun moments within here. I just really like this show. Uh, it's a show that put an absolute smile on my face. Uh, I enjoyed seeing all of the characters that I watched when I was younger in a new form, but still feel very similar. And uh, the songs in here and Doc, uh, played by Lily Cooper, is great. Uh, there's just a lot of fun moments in here. Uh, they are uh, recreating what they did originally, and I was really impressed with how they were able to manage that without having it be something completely different that would uh, get a lot of people angry. You know, you see those reboots or remakes and this changed so much that it just sacrificed what made that original movie or series so good. They didn't change much. They added a few different things here and there, some new characters, changed characters around a little bit. But by the end of the day, it's really like the same exact thing. So uh, if you enjoyed the original Fraggle Rock series, I highly recommend checking this series out. The characters feel the same, the tone, the issues that they cover, the songs, it just feels like the same exact thing. So before I give you my score for Fraggle Rock Back to the Rock, make sure to check out my channel. Here I do movie reviews, trailer reactions, ranking videos, tier lists, all that fun movie related content that you see on YouTube. I do it all here, so hit that subscribe button to get it all in one spot. I'm gonna go ahead and give Fraggle Rock Back to the Rock a B plus. Thank you guys for checking my review for Fraggle Rock Back to the Rock. Have you guys seen it by chance on Apple TV Plus? What did you guys think about it? Let me know in the comment section down below and stay tuned for more up and coming content. My name is Just Watches Movies, and you guys stay classy, YouTube.